Welcome back to the broadcast, everybody. How are you guys today? I'm Miss Shine Light Seven. Welcome. This is a 21 plus reading, raw, uncut, unfiltered, unbiased reader. I don't know what the messages will be before the messages come out, so please take only what resonates with you and leave the rest. Suggestions, questions, and comments can be left in the comment section below. This is a general plus a collective. It will not resonate with every single one of you. And if it does not resonate, check out some of the other playlist videos as well. Before you go, make sure you subscribe, like, and share. Hit the bell notification along with the thumbs up so you don't miss the next upload. Hey, 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 how are you guys today? I have your messages for today. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So let's start with today. Today's messages will start with um, who's raising hell, what kind of situation is going on today, and the energy, some mysterious, some also intense energy is absolutely looming around in the energy as well. Um, so yeah, let's get started. On the as above and so below, it is when and where. again and after so this might have happened uh, before something it could be in cycles it could be after something happened this could be somebody that's stalking because that you probably let them know or maybe you've seen them do it before be very careful coming home from work i'm getting stripper vibes girls like when you go and stripping or out at the club be mindful of who's following you home um, and who is um, around in your surroundings as well um, as well as taking extra money for extra jobs after work I'm getting some energy like that it's things that um, will get everyone's attention you don't want to be part of the statistic in this energy as well because it could, it's, could lead to being like national news where somebody is looking for you like missing person type of energy so um be very mindful um of big spenders men that come in and want to offer you a lot of money um as well and women as well um beware of men online offering to be a sugar daddy for no reason rhyme or reason in the energy so be very careful and mindful of that as well you know saying that they will pay your bills um you don't know who is on the other side of the um on the other side of the computer um be very mindful of who you are interacting with being um, giving you information to um, your locations to um, sharing on iPhones um, different video chatting and things of that nature um, because people can find your location with your I think it's an IP number or some type of thing where they can hack into you as well as your cash app um, they are scamming and cash um, scamming cash apps as well as well and also fraud is going around as well um, impersonating other folks it's very treacherous energy coming in so be very mindful of the you know surroundings and protect your energy keep your frequency high you know know the people you hanging out with as well um so let's talk about it because there's a bunch of fools out here in this energy as well there's things that somebody thinks something is fine but not knowing and it could be somebody that's on your phone that you think everything is fine with but with these ten swords in your energy is talking about their backstabbing there's some betrayal there's some deceit here there is some manipulation there is envy here there's a lot of different things here um, this person is not to be trusted and whilst they're untrustworthy please eliminate them from your energy once they're on there's what they want to illuminate with the sun here um they're very untrustworthy as well as they have very little emotion for others in this energy be very careful we're coming into that time um of the you know satanic energy and we've been in it for a while people are very dark these days um they don't hesitate um to fly off the handle um to you know 
harm you in whatever way also i would like to remind ladies men women whoever you are children be mindful um of pe getting into strangers cars as well women do not get into a car with a person make as much noise as you possibly can um before somebody takes you in their car um kidnapping be mindful of being around an atm machines when you're drawing money try to go to the bank um while it's during business hours as well or go with another person don't go alone in the energy okay so let's talk about it here i have your energy um i'm going to talk about here um under because it's some hard energy coming in it's real dark i want to talk about it here but it's beautiful i want i don't want it to get too dark but you know it's beautiful energy coming in as well you know we got that abort shared fantasy you went into a situation knowing somebody had another person with the abort shared fantasy we also have the line in this energy as well so we have that strength energy we might also have leo's fire signs is in this energy as well um agility somebody might have a lot of strength somebody might be very strong they might even be bigger than you um i'm getting a size between the person could be at least six foot you could be between five two and five four just be very mindful of the distance and the strength that a person that size of that top that tallness can um overpower you with powerful here confidence self-esteem as well lessons and learning here as well under the lion as well uh, let me get one more just checking the energy gratitude is in this energy as well i am thankful for um this life and the opportunities that it presents in this energy so we are thankful for some things we are thankful for knowledge we are thankful for wisdom we are also thankful for vision as well as this energy could be metaphorically um literally figuratively in and out of text as well okay so let's get started you guys This is a very new deck to this energy here. This is very new. I just got this um, deck um, for my birthday, a belated birthday gift. And I thank you guys for the energy exchange as well. All, um, all donations are greatly appreciated. Okay. Thank you. Big or small, thank yous are always welcome. Please comment subscribe like okay you guys i'm ready at the bottom of the deck the emperor himself is here in this energy but with these birds at the bottom of the deck here um with this emperor here with the skulls at his feet um they have a, a, a ram's head on the top of his chair lots of crows and birds mountains of obstacles as well as this three ram heads it could be um capricorn what's that capricorn with the fish bottom um as well also could be aquarius in this energy as well um yep virgos with the number six in this energy as well five four this man ain't walking away either though this person um has his onk in his hand under his hand here that's his onk of everlasting life or whatever um these are like immortals so these people might be immortal in the energy as well so they might just not be in this the regular natural realm they could also be supernatural um energy as well from another realm that's in this energy i don't know why i'm getting this energy today but that's what they're talking about and that's major arcana today as well in the energy i know these cards look a little cartoonish but these just keep it a little bit light-hearted in the energy um this is also um benevolence generosity with this mask with this masculine here this is also um possible chaos and no one is in charge in this energy because he's not even in charge of himself here this is a rule of authority this is control structure planning the authority can become um uh 
And this could be a possible father here, father figure. Or whether for good or evil. So he could be good or evil. You know what I mean? It's it's just it's just not it's no telling right now who this masculine is right now in the energy just yet. You know, we just coming into the energy. So that's just the bottom of the deck. We really don't know who this person is. Um, and I'm here to tell you what this energy is all about. When and where. Alright, so this is about somebody, a third party, being strung along. Three people are in this energy as we talk about it. They're all strung together here with this energy, with this emperor. So it could be um, two girls, one boy in this energy, threesomes type of energy, swinger energy, groupie, group sex, group lovers. Um, this is also um, John Deere. With the John Deere here, this is um, cultivating something. It also can be captivating you. They be, could be captivating you with seduction. They could also be captivating you with lust and temptation here. Um, but it's also an injury here. This is also going to hurt you. This could also wound you in this energy. Um, you could fall off of this and get hurt. This is what it's talking about here with the John Deere here. This is how they cultivate something here. They have an ulterior motive, an ulterior plan. All right, yeah. They also have an ulterior plan. Let's play ball here. Let's, this is golfing on his head, right? And you know the outcome of this going to be, he's going to miss the ball and hit his head um, in this energy because, you know, a kid really is not um, real... Uh, Practice in playing it playing golf in this energy. Um, so this is like a dangerous game You want to try to play here is playing a dangerous game a could be the feminine B could be the masculine C could be your choice your chance and your challenge in the energy Okay, feminines you look like you're angry angry in this energy under the emojis here look like you got a lot of anger coming in here things that will get everyone's attention masculine you coming in the energy under uh, frustrated here in the energy and annoyed okay in the energy okay let's talk about here who's being strung along in the energy okay we have the seven of pentacles in the energy seven of pentacles we also have the king of wands and the lovers in this energy under the choice, the chance, and the challenge. Now look at that lovers there. Boy, I tell you, it's some dark stuff going on there. Two a man and a woman with the sun with the sun with a skull face, two hands of love with skeletons, snakes. Boy, that's dark there. That's very dark. With angel wings. Okay, because they could be fallen angels, you know, taking the temptation of the devil in the energy. Okay, let's talk about it here with the major um, arcana of love here under the lovers. Let's talk about that first. I'll talk about the major arcana first. Um, the relationship ends or is not what you thought it was. Do not look um, to love or a partner to fulfill your life here. Do not look to this love because this is going to be... The game that they play. This is going to be a dangerous game of love and war here. This is all going because if you got a ball on your head with somebody taking a shot at, a hit at your head with a golf club, um, it could be very dangerous um, to your face. You could get injured or something. It could get hurt. Somebody could get hurt here, and it's talking. It's talking about being hurt. The relationship. It's talking about a relationship. It's talking about love. It's talking about desire. If you ask, will I find romance at this party? I'm going to. The lovers come up and take, and take that as a yes. Okay, so you might find somebody at a party you're going to. You might find somebody um, in this energy. Um, but it might be... Um, unusual the way you meet this person this might not be your usual type okay and it also might be unrequited love not a love love to keep this going in this energy okay so let's talk about the king of wands here and the energy coming back king of wands in this energy uh cups are cues king of wands talks about um dominance control um Someone who stops at nothing to take and keep power. Setbacks, realizations that force one alone will not get us what we want. Seeking assistance might work better 
alter alternatively leaving responsibilities to return to a life of adventure so this is the adventure you took when you took this john deere and to cultivate this love or this passion for this woman man or circumstance or situation ship in this energy of this three people being strong alone under the seven of pentacles here seven of pentacles and they talk about um and the energy of seven of pentacles talks about um the same question but now the focus moves to the next action so let's move to the next action what happens after this this is like when um it is it's talking about the quarant or yourself if you read um what is the scarecrow's attitude satisfied dis disguised ready to take a break um what is the quarant saying can illuminate in this energy so this is the scarecrow He's in the field. He's supposed to be pent up here to scare off or to, um, what is the scarecrow's attitude? So what is this person's attitude in this third party situation? What is your attitude in this situation? Um, are you satisfied? Is it disguised? Is somebody being masked? Do you know about the situation that you're in? Um, are you ready to take a break in this energy? Are you ready to let this go? Are you ready to, um, let, to walk away or you want to illuminate this more what do you want in this energy with the emperor here in this energy um of being you know not his authentic self here you know being um masked in the energy okay that's what they're talking about so let's talk about it here under this energy here so to a cellist of so two people two person celebration here this is a very reflective deck i don't know if you guys can see maybe i can show you like yep like that so that is that third two parties so two of these people are really in a relationship and there is like a third wheel type of person in this energy um that's pulling this relationship away or apart or se separating it um there is competition in this energy as well with the five of wands here there is competition this deck is very reflective in the energy so yeah this king of wands has a lot of competition there's a lot of players a lot of situationships in this energy as well okay this is also the six of atheum atom atoms okay the six of atoms wanting to go to comma waters in this energy six of atoms and this is the witch tarot here no, the green witch in this energy so it's very dark here the women in which are in this energy are very dark karmic karma karma type of situations in this energy as well with the lovers these people are very treacherous so they will go to no end to know if they are satisfying you if they are being disguised to the next lover or um what position do they play in your life in this energy okay so under this energy here that's obsession so someone in this energy is very obsessed maybe they the um third will in this situation or such but there is somebody in this energy that's very obsessed with this love affair with this lover here um they're angry this person is frustrated that they won't, you know, see that they are already with somebody. And this person says that everything is fine, but it's being illuminated here in this energy as well. So I want to really see who they're talking about in the energy. Who are we talking about with the two of cellists here, along with the scarecrow of the seven of pinnacles here, groundedness, about money, about stability about you know watching other people's money and watching other people's stuff grow but not working on their own they're here to scare crow scare somebody else off this is the celebration this is the three sword three of cups here you y'all been friends y'all celebrated y'all drank y'all and party party with each other in this energy and like they say in the book that you might have met this person at a party or some type of gathering family reunion some type of birthday party some type of situation shit in this energy okay 
They said this is the motion. This is the chariot. Somebody wants to move on in this energy under these what the conflict, what the competition is in this energy. It's a lot of competition. Somebody wants to move forward in this energy. And somebody is in this energy under delusions in this energy. Seven of cups. Somebody is under delusions. Somebody's here just for what they can get out of it. Sex, money, love, drugs, watch the world, whatever the case may be. If it's just for a place to sit, if it's just for um um food if it's just for a sh whatever they could get this is the ultimatum under the lovers here this is the ultimatum either her is going to be either them or it's going to be me the ultimatum the biggest ultimatum in the energy is either going to be me or them in the energy okay in the energy and with this obsession here this person is obsessed with this person to the death of them okay to the death of them under the celebrate what are they celebrating here Tell me about what they're celebrating here in this energy. Still a new deck. Things that every that gets everyone's attention. So they might be getting everybody's attention in your community, your tribe, the people that validate you in this energy as well. All right, three of swords in this energy. Three of swords. So somebody's definitely, excuse me, y'all, heartbreak. Somebody is definitely going to have a heartbreak in this energy under this celebration. They're definitely going to be wounded. They're definitely going to feel pain. They're definitely going to be wounded about being the third wheel or not being chosen as the, you know, the, the one that satisfies them the most. You know, this is being disguised here of heartbreak. Somebody might not tell you they're feeling heartbreak here. Too many, too many, too many. But let's look at what we got here, though. Let's look at what we got. We got the Five of Swords here. We got the Five of Swords. We got the Ten of Wands carrying a very heavy burden here. To the death of you here. Okay? Carrying a heavy load of death here. And the Page of Wands here. And the energy, okay? That's what they're talking about here. And at the bottom of the deck, the devil is at the bottom of the deck, okay? So it's very toxic it, with this, it's, with this, um, with the obsession here, with the things that everything is fine here, with the ten swords, the backstabbing, the betrayal, the deceit, the manipulation, the entanglement is something here that you are not seeing. But it's happening because you're saying it's everything is fine. Heartbreak is here. They're illuminating it here. Eight of Wands, they're telling me that there's more messages of concern here that you need to be aware of. They're telling me that there's fools here. They're coming in and out. It's different lovers. It could be two men, two women in the energy as well. With the Two of Swords, it's something that needs to be cut off with the Two of Swords, with the bat here in the energy. There's, you know, really some treacherous things going on as well let's talk about it back here this is the magic stream so they're going to the to the extremes of things um it's very emotional here as well in the energy the lovers talks about the ultimatum okay and this is also i'm getting it back again it's coming right back in like this person is going to give you get in this car or else like if you have to be kidnapped or somebody comes um in a parking lot a plaza strip mall and they want you to get in their car i am telling you to make as much even if they got a gun even if they got a knife it's best to make noise where you are um then to get somewhere and they take you off and nobody hears you okay like make noise where you are lay on the ground do what kick scratch bite i mean they can't they may shoot you in the broad daylight but at least that you didn't go with them to be tortured to be anything that you don't want done to you they could do a lot of different harmful things to you once they get you alone so be very very mindful of getting in cars with strangers okay you never know who you're getting in cars with and that's to the ladies that like to you know go out on dates with strangers blind dates and stuff like that be in public areas come in your car you know you never know who you meet and they could talk a good game but then switch it up on you when you get there okay so just be very very mindful of the energy 24 30 okay so that's what it's talking about um i'm gonna get you a few messages as well and we're gonna keep it pushing with the devil here 
Okay, uh, Major Arcana here. Uh, no, Major Arcana, but let's talk about it here. I'm gonna go with the um Ten of Wands first here under the motion mo motion here, the motion of um moving forward in its energy. Somebody else is taking on too much um of somebody else's burden. Somebody else is handling um a project, maintaining the relationship in this energy. Um, all is this. It sounds as negative in this energy. It carries hectic um splendor. Um, his cape here on his cape here. It um. It is torn and tattered. His head is beat bent. Really, really, there is almost um, nothing left to him here. And yet he continues um, on fault toward the blaze of light. He carries this burden in his um, most awkward way possible. He should uh, tie them together and rest them on his shoulders but then all the um budding leaves will get crushed so um maybe the new life is all that matters to this person maybe only the new life matters to this person and his energy dropping the sticks um it all becomes too difficult or the person is a rebel either insists someone else's help or um just walks away um someone who is all the takes on all the responsibility whether at work or in a relationship maybe he doesn't know how to ask for help or believes no one else can do it right or maybe he is afraid of being turned down or more positively someone of great um dedication nothing matters but keeping the leaves and the dreams the mission alive. That's your main goal is to stay alive in this energy. Is why I told you what I said. Your main goal is to stay alive in this energy. Um, don't um, don't be afraid to ask for help. Scream, yell, whatever, kick. Because this is very treacherous energy. Even though they come in lighthearted in the energy, this is very tre treacherous energy as well. Um, the Page of Wands talks about he hesitation. And don't hesitate um, to um, to caution yourself here. And holding back. This is also holding back in this energy. Um, this is also talks about signifies eagerness, innocence, love of life. Um, or sometimes a um, declaration of love. To, the, to this we might add exploring something to the light exploring something to the light all right so with this with delusion you might be very delusion about this person this person might have been a charmer kind of like ted bundy you know very charming type of man but they have a sadistic side to themselves okay so don't be cat fitched or cat hooked or cat baited in this energy okay we're coming into that you know pagan energy of like hocus pocus alamogokus you know spooky spook okay misery misery loves company okay and we're coming to the seven of i mean the five of swords here in the energy and then i'm gonna just say we're gonna get some more energy okay in this energy they're talking about um this is the energy shifts for victory um or defeat and this energy to what will come next um another possibility how do you move on after a loss so you might lose your life in this energy if you're not careful with this person place or thing even if in a relationship this person can fly off the handle with you and you come succumb to your demise where do you see yourself in the picture um what all want what we we i mean we all want to be the hero okay um, but sometimes we come up against a situation where we can't win and have to walk away, run away if you have to, you know, or get your heart broke or cut out or lose your life. I keep, you know, I can't stress it enough about how these, and it might be two people in this energy that might come and attack you. It might be two people in this energy because I keep getting two men. It is two men coming in. Okay. Two men, two men making a deal. They plotting, they planning, and they strategizing here. It could be two men um, against one woman here in this energy. 
Yeah. Um, they could even be lovers to you. They could play lovers and lure you off with the lovers. So they could be playing lovers to you or playing lovers with you um, only to entrap you or entrail you into some type of, you know, luring you off, kidnapping type of situation. Be very mindful of that and this energy. Um, I'm going to see the shadow side of this, what it is. Let's talk about it here under the shadow side. Of this situation um under the five of swords here um under this devil under this toxic under this obsessing session here in this energy it was aborted so they might let you live with the abort shared fantasy once you do what they say they might um let you go but it's no guarantee if you go with them you might not live you might have to <laughs> you might not live i'm just saying knight of wands here don't make them angry they might get very high-headed they might um play loving and sweet with you uh, with the heartbreak here with the knight of wands here but as well as they got their baggage here so it's gonna be um they might be after money they might be after ransom they might be after something that you have your possessions this might be even your birkin bag that might be even your purse that they're after okay okay juggle two of two of um pinnacles here juggling they're going to try to juggle some situation they might even just put you in the trunk they might even put you in a car a van a bus a, a caravan or, or some type of um rv okay might not be some something that people won't recognize you in or that they took you and it might be just very quick juggling two of pinnacles disguise with something over their face and carry you off with the burden here carry you off over your shoulder over their shoulder and gone with you okay just just to let you know okay and then the page of wands delusion hit you upside the head hit you upside the head with something blows to the head make you delirious drug you lovers make sex with you carry off carry you off excuse me off for the glare Cl carry you off to a remote location in the energy bury you in a shallow grave delusion you might wake up and not know where you are under delusions here under material gain, take all your stuff, your possessions, your car, your everything, and leave you um, wandering around with nothing, with your clothes off, tattered, beaten. You might have to scream for help here in energy. And then, let's see, last one here. Under the choice to challenge and choice to challenge and the chance. Yeah. Five of swords. Might be a lot of players here. And this energy is talking about two, two. Still talking about two birds. Two different things. So it might be two men. I keep telling you. I keep getting that two energy. And it might even pop, pop, pop. With the popcorn here. It also might be gunfire. Gunshots. So be very careful. I keep getting that with the popcorn here. Okay. Might be gunfire shot, shots. Even in a parking lot area this might be even in public it's gonna get other people's attention things that will get everyone's attention this will definitely get everyone's attention if they have to shoot you in broad daylight so like i said don't go off with nobody if you know yes one man see if you go off with them this is what it's telling me these are the messages of concern here this is the one eight of wands this is a message of concern telling you if you go off with these two if you go off with this person this is an octopus anything can happen eight things eight eight arms you know off in a boat leaving you in a remote place even even to drown you put similar cylinder blocks on your feet and drop you in the bottom of some type of water in the energy and they and it's been done okay 
boat you off and leave you in a boat under underwater in energy. Nobody will know that you're there. So be very mindful. A lot of women has lost their lives this way. So be very careful. I'm not sure this, this is a crossover energy that's coming in and wanting me to know this. But I'm also giving you this as a warning as well. And if you are liking the as above when when and where, the before, no, the again and after, because this person does this all the time. This is person is their lifestyle. They're serial, serial people, repeat offenders. Okay, repeat offenders. They could draw you in. They're obsessed with the three ear. Three, three, three might resonate with you as well. And if you would like to get your own personal reading from me, Miss Shine Light Seven TV, make sure you subscribe, like, and share. Hit that bell notification along with the thumbs up. Namaste. Namaskar.